So good morning YouTube. Again it is I Danielle, better known as Danielle Happy Medium. And in this video we're going to look at how to connect to a guide, Claire Sentience. And if you've been following the last couple of days of videos then you will should be well up to speed. So for those who are the Claire Sentience Medium, again it's all about intention and making sure that you put the intention to the spirit world to find a guide on a Claire Sentience link. So again, we're thinking ourselves into the spirit world. So as we're sitting and we're sort of in that sort of state of relaxation, we are going to start and think and say to ourselves within our mind, spirit world, please come a guide step forward and may I be able to feel them. What I call this is the calling card. The calling card that will tell you each and every time when one of your guides steps forward. So I'll use me as an example. I have a team of three, just additional new one, which is four. So I've got quite a bigger team there these days. It's getting harder and harder. I'm managing them all up there. It's like, it's like Piccadilly Circus at the minute. But that's besides the side. But each of my guides has a different feeling. So my main man, he comes forward um, and he warms my hands up. My hands always go red hot when he comes forward. Another one my guides makes my whole body go freezing cold, which is normally when I'm demonstrating, the particular guy that I work with when I'm demonstrating, um, makes me go completely freezing. And anybody who watches me on a demonstration or when I'm doing floor demonstrations, the chair people go absolutely bananas because they're absolutely freezing cold by the time I'm finished doing a dem of, of mediumship there. Me, one of my other guides, it is warming my feet up. And then the other guide that I have, it's it's a touch to the shoulders. It's a very sort of relaxation. It's a very sort of, I just like want to drop. Um, and each guide has what I call a calling card. This can be done and this takes a little bit of practice. And what I tend to do when I'm working with guides on a clear sentience link and when I ask my guides to step forward on only a feeling vibration, I ask them to place that feeling upon me and take it off. Place it on me, take it off. This helps you to build that relationship with that guide so that you know that that guide or that you're working with that particular guide on a clear sentience link. An excellent, excellent way for all of those who cannot work clairvoyantly or cannot work clairaudience there because you will always know that that guide is there through the feeling. How do you strengthen it? How do you make it bigger? exactly the same way in which that I've just spoke about there. So when you ask that guy to step forward, can I have your calling card? Can you place a feeling upon me that I will know is only you and you alone? As you as this guy starts to work with you that little bit more, you will find that they will start and impress different sort of um, feelings, different sort of um, conditions upon you, which is a really good way of building clear sentience. So when you're working with the guide, can you say to them, look, can you put a particular condition on me? How would this particular condition, or ask them to put conditions on you that they would use when they're working with you for the spirit world, or the particular feeling of um, a broken finger or a broken arm or a stroke feeling, they, if you ask them, they will place every feeling upon you in order so that you build the spiritual toolbox within your mind so that when you're demonstrating or when you are working on a one-to-one -one private sitting, this knowledge is already there because your guide has put it there. Why is it the best way to do it? This way, because that guide will then know you back to front and you will know them back to front. So when you're working with the spirit world, you don't need to worry about your conditions or your feelings or, or anything like that because you've already built that trust with this guide through the clear sentience link. And you know that when that condition comes on, it's going to be true right and accurate. Why is that? Because your guide had taught you that. I will say it again in this video, as I've said it in all the videos in the last couple of days, your best teachers in the spirit world are your guides. You cannot get away from this. And if people sit more for their people, you will find that your mediumship, your relationship with the spirit world and with your guides build massively and a lot quicker than sitting on workshops, residential courses, whatever it may be. Now, while people's knowledge is good and we all need it, the best teachers you can get are your guides and I am living proof of that. I have had no training whatsoever, none, apart from little bits and pieces here and there. All my work has come from my people and the spirit world. And if you give your time and you sit with your guides, then there is no reason why you can't be that evidential medium. But in essence, declare sentience, 
and how to make it stronger. Think yourself into the spirit world and say, can my guy come forward and give me his calling card? And remember, ask him to take it off, put it on. If you can't quite feel it, tell him to push it on a little bit more. They're going to push it on so that you can feel it. As soon as you feel it, say, right, I hear you. I feel that. That's okay. I get it. Take it off. Put it back on. Take it off. Tell them to adjust it so sometimes it's light, sometimes it's really heavy. So that you're gauging so you can find that place of alignment that is right for you. So that when that feeling comes on, you know it's your people. You know it's that guide. That way, you can never go wrong. And sometimes when we are working as mental mediums, sometimes we do not get visuals because of the fact that our mind's too busy. Sometimes the, the spirit world can't hear us or we can't hear them because our mind is too busy. With a clear sentience link, it will always come. So you will always know that your people are there. Get different calling cards for different people. You can even say to them, I want something specific. They will, they will try to endeavour to deliver that. This is the best way to build clairsentience. It is ultimately one of the easiest way to build, build clairsentience and a one that you'll have great, great fun with your guides worth doing at the same time. I've been Danielle, better known as Danielle the Heart Medium. And in this video, we've looked at how to connect to your guides through clairsentience.